blessed we are to be amongst the land of the living. Yes, Alicia, that's what I was doing. Thank you. It's breakfast time before I start to really kick in for Christmas. Now, every day somebody losing their life. Every day. So we have to thank the Lord for opening our eyes today because the one thing we can't predict is when is the daggum last day. Shit, we made some of us on here may not make it to Christmas. We don't know. But today, we're here. I'm eating breakfast, and then I got to wrap some presents. And then we got a little Christmas tree yesterday. Thanks to my daughter. No, I didn't have to beat nobody up. We have moved on from that. And... Then today, I'm going to start to um, um, wash my greens and stuff like that, as you can see in the back. Greens, 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 and that's, that's the cabbage. Greens, greens, more greens. Greens, greens, greens. You homeless, but you got a cell phone? How does that work? I've been homeless before. I didn't have no cell phone. Mm. Ain't that some crispy bacon? That's why I like my bacon. I can't stand to go to a restaurant and then they bring you half cooked ass bacon. That's salmonella, for God's sake. I just really came on here to remind you guys. Hello, South Africa. It's not morning anymore. Triggers, you don't give a fuck about me, so why are you telling me what to do? Goodbye. You don't know me. I don't know you. Goodbye. Um... Oh, I called... I wanted to tell you guys to... To remind you about the um, the movie tomorrow, Miracles on 125th Street. Of course, wait. Excuse me. stuff to watch movies with and our movie is right here amongst the holiday movies and it's miracles across 125th street miracles across 125th street i've been posting about it everybody a lot of people from the movie have and I hope you guys get a, a chance to check it out tomorrow. Thank you, Latanya. I love doing Dish Nation. Mm hmm And, um, I don't have any lunch, but you me. And it's really fun. Kingston, Jamaica in the building. Hello. Oh, yeah. So, um, I hope you guys watch this on MT. It's on VH1. Tomorrow night, it says at 9, but I guess it depends on where you're, um, where you're located. But if you go on your DVR, and set your DVR for Miracles across 125th Street, it'll just automatically come out whenever it comes out. 
This was a very quick turnaround. This movie is... We, we filmed this in the summer in Atlanta. And Nick said that he wanted it out by this Christmas. And I'll be doggone. What's up, Old Town? Miss Lynn Brown. Um, uh, he wanted it out by this Christmas. And so it is. So Miracles Across... The hundred and miracles across 125th Street, and I've told everybody who's in it, it's like Little Kim, Jim Jones, Todrick Hall, Bruce Bruce. Get crunk with it. Get crunk. Get crunk with it. Get loose with it. Like Church said, let's Bruce Bruce hit it. Well, Bruce Bruce is in this, and we keep smiling. Jim Jones, Bobby J. Fred Hammond, Kiki Sheard, Karen Clark Sheard. Me too, to me, called 45. It's on VH1. So I hope you guys get a chance to check it. Yes, that's the movie with Nick and Lil' Kim. We do punt it. Okay, Viacom owns them both. Thank you, she is it. Yeah. What's the movie going to be on? On VH1. Hi, Vegas. Yeah, thank you, K3ENMYND. I don't know, some of you guys got some very complicated um, Instagram names. Bentley Michaels. Bentley Michaels. You said you hope I can come back to Dallas soon. You also have obviously not been paying attention because I'll be in Dallas Brook Grand Prairie for New Year's Eve Eve with a hot lineup. Gary Owens is going to host it. It's going to be me, Country Wayne, Lavelle Crawford, baby. You need to come on to that one if you want to because it's going to be great. What's up, North Carolina? <laughs> well, somebody said they hope I replace Sherry when she gets her own show. Well, first of all, thank you. Second of all, I really don't want to do daytime. I really want to do nighttime. But if I could do daytime, I would do this nation because we get away with saying a lot on there. Montreal. Good morning, Canada. Okay, 8 Central. We're pursuing Sam's life. I don't know. But come on tomorrow night. He has my holiday nails. I'm very happy about those. But I really want... I want to change them for New Year's. I don't know if I have time. But I got a banging New Year's design I want to do. Mm -hmm. It's going to be funny, but it's going to be spiritual as well. That's why you got everybody from gangsters to the saints in the movie. Hello to the saints. Yes, Marshall Warfield plays my buddy in the movie, the great Marshall Warfield. What's up, Arkansas? I'll see you all in Little Rock soon. Yes, Ricky's in it, too. Well, I do love to eat.
But it's just every time I want to eat, if I'm alone, then I eat with you guys. So it may look like I eat all the time, but I don't. Then, what's up, M.M.? Then also on Wednesday, I did this rock video with these white folk and Macaulay Culkin. Remember I posted a picture of Macaulay Culkin and me? But I didn't say what we were doing because I couldn't say, but now it's been written up in Variety and Rolling Stone. And so this video is for this group called LED Sound System, LED, LCD Sound System, something like that. And it comes out on Wednesday. Read up on it. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> How are y'all today? Yours would get this white if you bleached it with the right stuff. Now that have black hair. You can't dye black hair blonde. You have to bleach it. Mm. This is our old country breakfast from Arkansas. I just don't have no biscuit. Because I don't really do biscuits like that. But my time in Arkansas, growing up, we ate eggs and rice and bacon and biscuits. That's what I got. What's up, Phoenix? I'll be there soon, too. Living in PG. What does that mean? Phoenix, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, Donna. Donna T Show. Yeah. I got presents to fucking rap. <laughs> yes, Country Wayne will be there. I can't wait. Because this gets me cracking me up. I loved being on Dish Nation. It was great. I did not love getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm used to going to bed around 3 o'clock in the morning, so I had to really make myself go to bed. Thank you. Even though I was on national TV, a lot of people still didn't see it, so it's okay. What smoked meat do I use? Smoked turkey necks. But at Christmas time, my daughter requests once a year to have a ham hop. So I'll probably do that. You will not get high blood pressure for eating one ham hock a year. We don't even eat the ham hock. So don't start with the bullshit. Mozambique, good, hello, honey. When am I coming to Los Angeles, California? Where do you think I am sitting at right now? That's hilarious. Do you mean when, when are we performing in L.A.? I don't know. Our new schedule don't come out for... Well, I won't have it until about... I know we go back to work. We hit the road again January 14th. So I'll know before then. Oh, it's 7.40 p.m. in South Africa. Well, good evening, baby. Yeah, I heard about Draco. I was going to go. I wanted to go to that concert, too. Then I didn't go. And I'm glad I didn't. That's a fucking shame. But mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Baltimore. I have no influence over where we go. I go where they tell me we're going. But if we didn't do Baltimore on the first run, I'm sure we'll do it again. We got like 70 more shows to do, so it's a 100-city tour. Yeah, Karen Clark, Shane, Lil' Kim, and Jim Jones, and Fred Hammond, all in the same movie. <laughs> yeah, the Home Alone Kid, right, Black Unity. Mm-hmm. Yes, Doris, you would think so, but you know, I had a talk with, um, I had a talk with uh, a, a producer, we had a Zoom on Friday, me and my manager and stuff, and you know, the thing is, like you guys may not know, Dave Chappelle shot 13 pilots before he ever got to Chappelle's show, I've only shot about seven, but these executives move so motherfucking slow, and this is my life. You know, I should have, fact is, I should have been on TV, but they be fucking around. I think they're scared of me because there's a whole bunch of hacks on TV that I feel don't need to be, and a whole bunch of people that are not on TV that deserve to be, me being one. Not that I don't get enough TV time, but I, you know, I need my own show so I can bring on, so I can bring on some people. One of the motherfucking, y'all don't know this, but one of the um, complaints that they had with Sherry Shepard on Wendy Williams was that she was bringing on too many black folks. Ain't that a bitch? Now, still on that for a minute. Yeah, she had Niecy Nash and she had Kenny Lattimore and she had the brat. She was only on there five days. And, uh, and I'm like, well, you know, we want to keep it. That's that bullshit, see. Thank you, Mina. Thank you, Dr. Belinda. Right, exactly, mean girl, for real, three. Oh, you just came from virtual church, and now you're on here with me. You got to start all over again, baby. <laughs> Thanks, I was wondering what you and the young comedian were to. What young comedian? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gone, she is it, Louisiana. That's right. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I'm from Atalet, Arkansas. Small. Yeah, I'm cooking greens. I'm going to cook greens. Excuse me, cabbage with collards and mustards and turnips and all kind of shit. Okay, make it. Will I do another comedy movie? You must be late coming on, baby. That's the reason I came on to tell people about the movie that comes on tomorrow on VH1. Miracles Across 125th Street. Miracles Across 125th Street, 9 o'clock, VH1. I really don't like smoked turkey in my greens. I really like my fucking ham hock, but to be politically correct, you know. I know. I'm glad. Tell them Kimber Kimberly. <laughs> no, I'm not the queen of L.A. Lauren London is the queen of L.A. <laughs> and that is a fact. She is and will always forever be. That's another heartbreaker. I don't know that big was so crunchy, girl. Woo! I'm fine. No, I didn't. <laughs> he 
He gonna be gone. He gonna be. He gonna be gone. He gonna be gone. When I leave to go to Texas for New Year's Eve, he gonna be gone. And the silver fox is going up. The silver fox got the calendar. The runway assassin. Eustace, he's on Instagram under the runway assassin. And he's going up in January. Oh, yeah. At runway assassin on Instagram. You can write him and tell him I was showing his calendar. Don't get excited. He's got an African art piece in front of him. But see, he got pictures like this. That's an African art piece right there. Yes, it is. <laughs> so he'll be going up in, um, and that's February. Anyway, I'll show you some more pictures if you want, but you gotta let me know. I'm here. I'm not gonna go through the whole year unless you tell me to. Mm -hmm. Oh, you saw my picture in Dawa? Okay. Yeah, this scared me. It's the Bernie Mac syndrome. I hope it turns out like Bernie Mac. Remember, Bernie Mac was like, you know, almost 50. Or may have been 50 before he got his first show. And um, he was like, you know, they don't want to fuck with me. And I feel the same way. Well, that's what they said, honey. Show me shake. That's what they said. They said she bring on too many black folks. No, she brought on some black folks, but you know she had white folks too. Yes, love goes out to Wendy. I know. Yep. I do too. I got Mooney all in my house. And I miss my friend. Don't make me throw up. I want to throw up because he's not here. Well, thank you very much. Skelton, Gina. Hey, Jamaica. I know you love some greens, honey. Yes, that's another thing. Thank you for asking. I am going to make my turkey in a paper bag. And if you want to join me and do it at the same time I do, let's see, Christmas Eve is Wednesday, right? So Wednesday night around... Nine, ten, around nine or ten uh, Pacific Standard Time, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it on live. So if you want to do your turkey with me, then have all your stuff ready and all you need. Well, I also got this. ready over here. I also have the injectable Creole style uh, butter stuff. This Tony Chicky Dutch, whatever it is. Chuck Chick Chick Chuck Chuck Cherries Chuck Cherries. This the injectable butter. Yes, we got this. Okay. But all you need is that, or you don't need that. You don't need that, but if you want that and you got that, you can do that. Um, you need your seasonings, which is basically just like some seasoning sauce, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. And, uh, and, and you need lots of butter or regular olive oil or something like that, okay? That's all you need. And that's not for the bird. That's for the inside of the paper bag. So if you want to learn how to make this paper bag turkey that will fall to pieces, you won't be able to slice it. It's like black magic. You'll never, you just won't believe it. Then join me. Uh, MM. Join me um, Wednesday night. Okay. 
Wednesday night. So you you want to see August? Okay. Yes, black man. At Runway Assassin. Write him and tell him that I'm promoting his calendar. And you can write him, DM him about how to get a calendar. What's up, Dino Brown? Where the fuck have you been? Have I been missing it? Because I've been... Working my ass out. I'm so tired. Hi, Samson. <laughs> Want a calendar? Work with... Oh. Harrisburg. Yes, 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 yes. I know that it sounds crazy. When, I, when my sister did it, I didn't believe the shit. Paper bag from like Staples or anywhere. The grocery store, anywhere. Brown paper bag. And it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Well, my turkey, I don't know. I don't know how many pounds because it's not here. It's in my daughter's refrigerator. And Bishop Don Magic Juan gave me my turkey. I don't know how many pounds it is, but however size it is, you definitely need to be able to fit it inside the paper bag and fold it. You got your bag ready? Okay. Tony Chacheris. Injectable butter. What? It comes with the syringe right here. How convenient is that? Here's the shit, and here's the syringe. And just go, kill this better because you don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. It don't go on the bird. It goes inside the bag. So you can use butter or you can use oil. I prefer oil, so I blow on butter. It don't make no difference because it don't go on the bird. This is not nothing you're rubbing on the bird. Okay? Yep. You just get a regular paper bag from the grocery store. Get two. In case you tear one, or if the bag has, let me see. Now this obviously is not a big enough bag. This is a bag, you know, this bag, but it's, but it's going to be a paper bag. But you do not, you would want to, if you had one like this, you would want to take the, um, the handles out. Like this, you would want to take that out. But you can't tear the bag. So you got to do it like that. If you have even one little tear in your bag, if you have one little tear like that, like this, you done fucked up. So be sure to get a big paper grocery bag and join me on Wednesday night. Yes, isn't that wonderful how amazing Nene got over her late husband's death so quickly? But I guess when somebody been sick a long time, you know they're going, you got time to prepare, and she did all her crying before. But she certainly has made a rapid comeback. Um, Runway Assassin on Instagram. Okay, you want... Uh, Chocolate Sag wants to see December. Ooh. Hi, Daddy. Mm. Oh. Yum. Merry Christmas. You can get this calendar. It could be all yours. This could be yours. 
This could be yours. This could be yours. Runway Assassin on Instagram. No, you don't need no light night right. Here's the deal, M.M. My girlfriend wanted to taste a piece of the drumstick. She took the drumstick leg and pulled it out clean. That's how juicy the turkey is. You can't you can't even pull a drumstick off. It's, it's too juicy. And you won't be able to carve it neither because it's just going to fall off the bone. The only time you'll be able to get a picture of the turkey is when you first open a bag. Because when you get to pull it out or try to pull it, then you're going to end up just having what they call a platter. Platter full of turkey meat. You're not going to be able to slice it or nothing like that. And who wants that? We want juice. Yup, see? Driving with Laura Linda knows. they seen me do it before. It's like fucking magic. My sister first told me, my beautiful sister in Texas, Florine, my sister told me she was going to make a turkey in her bag. I said, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and then she showed me, and then she fucking did it. And I ain't never going to cook a turkey no another way. You can fry all the turkeys you want to. Don't set your house on fire. You can roast all the turkeys you want to. That's a good old traditional way. We ain't going to never knock that. But if you, want your, if you want your turkey to fall to pieces and melt in your mouth and you not have no dry white meat, join me on Wednesday night. And the other thing is, I'm going to tell you another thing. We roast the turkey upside down, breast side down, backside up. Why? Because the breast is the driest part of the turkey, but it won't be if you have it upside down and it's sitting in the juices, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Hi, Chocolate Divinity. Okay, Wednesday night. I will post what time I'm going to do it. I'll put it on my story and I'll put it on my page. And I'll say, if your turkey is ready and you wish to join me, I'll be on in like 15 minutes. I'll post something like that and then I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, men do do it all the time. Go on and pass away. And from heaven, watch how quick your man be out there on the dating circuit. Just like that. Mm -hmm. My mom passed away and my stepfather had a bitch in... I can't even go into it. Had a bitch in the house. I hate him. He's dead now. You shouldn't use the word hate. My daughter always says you shouldn't use the word hate, but there's no other word to describe how I feel about that man that raised me. I don't know if we're going to do a book. I'll talk about it one day, but it's really horrible. It looked good on the outside, but it was terrible on the inside. Does the skin get crispy and brown? Yes. The skin gets crispy and brown. Now you're going to want to turn it over, but you can't because it's going to fall to pieces. It's going to be that juicy. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw Kamala going off in Charlemagne. Hey, she said I'm the vice president. Okay, Joe Biden is the president, and I, Kamala Harris, I'm the vice president. Okay, Charlemagne. Well, it's the holidays, and she can get just as drunk as the rest of us. Shit. Hmm. Oh, the live when I do the turkey? Yes, I'll leave it up for sure. Yes, 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 yes. I will leave it up for sure. Hi, honey boo. Hi, chocolate divinity with your long hair. Oh, hell, Wednesday. I said Wednesday. Did I say Thursday? I meant Wednesday night. No, I ain't putting my motherfucking feet up on the goddamn table. I'll do a pokes. Uh, I'll do that uh, on Wednesday, but very low, like maybe 250. And just go to bed. Put it in there about 11, go to bed, wake up at 6, take that bitch out. Well, I, I have the direction. I will post the directions on my story in a minute, and I'll post the directions on my page, okay? And then y'all can start thinking about it, and I'll tell it. I'll do that in just a few minutes, okay? Capital Heights, Maryland. Pew, pew, pew. Wow, Christmas dot season, dot 2021. 
Well, she's not alone. She's not the only one. Do I thaw the turkey on the counter in the fridge? I, I usually do it in the fridge. Like, we'll probably take it out Monday. And just put it in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, see, that's the, that's, she, exactly. What keeps the bag from burning? You guys will find that out on Wednesday. Cause I, it's it's a miracle. It's 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 magic. That's all I can say. Speaking of burning, I'm gonna burn something. Then I gotta go wrap presents. Ain't nobody here, even my cousin Shay. Everybody gone, so I can wrap presents. Did you guys do your little, your very own? Can we talk challenge at home? Did you see me and Kelly Price? <laughs> I will have gloves on doing the turkey, by the way. You will not get a Swarovski crystal in your food, but my Swarovski crystals don't come off anyway. I, I won't forget. At the yard house. Hi. Hi, girl. Elise OG. Oh, okay. Hello, baby. Oh, you got to season it the way you talk. I'm going to post I'm going to post something right when I hang up. June. Who wants to see June? Oh, Runway Assassin, I hope you sell some of these. You know, I know this guy. Oh, I can't show June. I already showed that. That was this. Bing. July's pretty nice. That casual look. Hey, Daddy. Yeah. So... Yeah. <laughs> well, I did the Can We Talk Challenge without Kelly. I did it myself. It's on my page. And then when I seen Kelly, we were just talking. We just started busting in the song. Well, I did. And then um, she joined me. It sounded amazing, which is a blessing because that uh, COVID really did fuck up her chest. And lungs for a while. I need a, a lighter, apparently. Oh. Can we talk for a minute? I want to know your name. Now, I'll tell you what. There's been a lot of good singers on there singing that, but that goddamn Kevin Campbell, he wore it out. And he was only like 15 or 16 years old when he sang that shit. I think Stevie Wonder, somebody discovered Tevin. Oh, I'm sleepy now, shit. I got the itis. March. Yvette wants to see March. That's my birthday month. March, baby. Hello, Pisces. If I seen him walking down the street with this, I would definitely stop and speak to him. And say, hello, sir. How are you? I just want to take this opportunity to tell you that you look amazing. Black man. Do that. <laughs> Authentic calendar. Wouldn't that be nice? You did one with WDAS, Patty. Did one with what? Calendar. What you did? Thank you. I love doing this nation. Prince discovered Tevin Campbell. 
Quincy Jones discovered Tevin Campbell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, I will not be running the laundry anymore. My contract is up. I am going to do a throwback post, though, and thank Rihanna, who is not pregnant, by the way. Dang it. Funny, uh, Christmas dot season dot twenty twenty one. Let him know he used to be with the Silver Fox Squad. He's not with the Silver Fox Squad no more, but he remains a Silver Fox at Runway Assa Run the Runway Assassin on Instagram. No, I just keep checking on my baby Sinbad, honey. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I'm only cooking greens today. I made breakfast. I'm not cooking nothing else today. I'll be eating greens the rest of the day. Yeah, she's not pregnant. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dish Nation. That's not what coffee means, honey. I only took one hit. I know you're not trying to tell me what to do, honey. Because you know I don't like that. Yeah, these are greens. Yes, they are. Yep. And a cabbage. Mm-hmm. Ha, <laughs> Billy Soros. Dish Nation. You know, actually, I didn't get very much good response on my Instagram about Dish Nation. You know, I, if I put, if I put, I can put a, a dinner plate on Instagram, we get like 13,000 responses. I posted a week's worth of Dish Nation. I got like 800 comments, which it means that either nobody was watching or you just don't care or you just didn't comment or whatever like that. It doesn't matter because I did what I did and I liked what I did and they liked what I did and I might get a chance to go back again someday. Everything ain't about, you know, support. Uh, I don't know who support me. You'll have to, um, what is the paper bag trick? You'll have to check it out. I'm going to post the instructions on my story and on my page in a few minutes. And then I'm going to actually demonstrate it on Wednesday night. Yeah, it is going to smell good while the garlic and shit is boiling. I use chicken broth instead of water. I got greens everywhere, I know. And we are also going to do a Hey Lunel YouTube Christmas, maybe end of the year edition. Um, Wednesday at 3 p.m., for those of you who know... My loyal lunatics out there, and for those of you who don't know, that way before Amar Aubrey got killed and way before George Floyd got killed, I started a YouTube show during the quarantine. It's called Hey Lunell, H-E-Y Lunell, right there. It always blows my mind how people misspell my name when it's right there. Anyway, I haven't done one in a while since I have been on tour with Cat, was usually traveling on Wednesdays, and I wasn't able to do it. But, um, we're going to do one this Wednesday, eggnog edition. Yeah, I like to play Christmas, I like to play Motown Christmas music when I cook. You say you are 20 years old and just starting stand-up, do I have any advice for you? Yeah, get your education, because it will help you in your stand-up to be articulate and be able to express yourself fluently to black, white, Asian, Latino, or Persian crowds. When you're black, you don't just perform for black people, okay? You got to be able to perform for everybody. I have a Bachelor of Arts degree in English Literature. Why are you bullshitting? So um, get your education and forget about being a big old comedy star until you get your education. 
Uh, Jimmy Kimmel is not letting me come back to, um, I've given up on that, back to um, his club in Las Vegas. The club in Las Vegas is sitting there empty. And I think that Jimmy Kimmel don't want to be responsible for nobody getting the COVID. And now there's a new little strain out. I woke up this morning a little, mm -mm -mm, I said, oh, shit. So I've given up on going back to Vegas. It was a good run, but it was over. I am, hi. Yeah, Tim Chase and Christmas song. Yes, tis mink lashes. Oh, first of all, yes, we're, we're going to have eggnog edition Wednesday at 3 o'clock California time, 5 o'clock in the Midwest, Texas and shit, and 6 o'clock in the East Coast. And you said mink nails? I mean, mink lashes? Did you say mink? Hit me in my DM. Well, all my shows talk about racism in America and some on black crime, but w why are you telling me what I should do? Do I look like motherfucking Roland Martin to you? I, I try to keep it light. I talk about all that stuff when I'm being interviewed by somebody else. What's my favorite Christmas song? Probably Donny Hathaway's This Christmas. And I like Earthy Kid Santa Baby. And stuff like that. You saw me and that's my boy. When I saw you, I was like, damn, I did not know Lunell had like that. <laughs> Lunell don't have it like that. Those were fake titties. Yeah, I guess we got that variant. I don't know. I'm trying not to get out of it. Yeah, Dr. Fauci. Uh, I didn't have to hurt nobody, so it turned out fine. The Lord interceded. <laughs> the Omar strain. Yeah, we will definitely try to keep doing Taco Tuesday. I only like Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog, which comes with about seven liquors in it. Then I add something to it. Pennsylvania Dutch is, is my shit. Oh, never die alone. God help.